zero bomb, zero bomb, zero bomb. Bite my song, bite my song. Zero bomb, zero bomb, zero bomb. Oh my god, I got a review. Oh no. What's up, you sexy nerds? Once again, this is Wildfire One. You are listening and watching Nerds New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. And um, today with me is. Druid. Hello, Druid. Uh, How do you know me and tell me about your nerd cred? Well, I know Wildfire One from uh, this humble little site called Newgrounds. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Oh yeah, it's it's one of those one of those very underground sites that no one knows. Like it's only been popping for I don't know the last shit a long time, years. Long time now. But go on. And my nerd cred. Um, I role play. Okay, you role play. What do you role play? Do you role play in the bedroom? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm a paladin with a 15-inch dick, bitch. Let's do this. So what do you roleplay? What games do you like to play? All right. Um, I do a lot of pen and paper roleplay. Um, I've actually played over, ooh, jeez, 80 different modules, uh, different stories, different uh, universes, uh, different game developers, and uh, different rolling systems from D20s to GURPS to, you know, so you're well versed in the pen and paper. Yeah. Okay. Do you, I'm, I'm what about video games? It. Do you like video games, anime, anything like that? Come on, there's got to be more than just I like games. Uh, games, games, and games are really fun. I like games, guys. Game. Um. Okay. So disclaimer: I'm not a big board gamer. Um. Even though I do like pen and paper. Um. I I play the crap out of video games. I get so gross with Fallout. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Okay. I watch a lot of anime. I, I could weave out for a hot second, but... What about Fallout 76? Give us your thoughts on that. Uh, I didn't pay for it. I figured I'd Was open that up right? that train wreck for you. Um, dude, don't even get me started. I, I could complain for hours about Bethesda, but I'm pretty sure no one wants to hear that. I'm sure I'm sure it's already been done <laughs> so much. Like, like you go anywhere... Right? But they're, they're the devil now, which they kind of are, but they did it to themselves. Yeah, I mean, hopefully with, uh, what is it, Outer Worlds, um, that's coming out by the, the previous developer of Fallout, and Interpol, Interplay. Uh, Intercourse. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope that that just does a lot better. Cause... So, okay, so you, you got your nerd, but let's get back to how you know me. It's all about me. So how do you know, well, how do you know me? Like, like you just said, like, oh, I knew this guy for so long and then you moved on. Like, it was, I'm a little sad that you didn't even tell a story. Like, I don't feel important. Um, anymore. okay. How, how do don't I touch me. I know Wildfire 1 from uh, Newgrounds and, um, I, I met him about, geez. Over 10, 10 years, years ago. ago. Over 10 years ago, actually. Oh, over 10 years ago. Um, I was just a dumbass kid and, um. I was messing around with uh, Fruity Loops, uh, doing production music, you know, blah, blah, blah. And um, I would listen to your stuff, and I was like, oh, man, this guy's, like, really good. You had some really good melodic pieces. You know, you you were a good inspiration to me. I inspire people. (laughs) Yeah, man. Well, I appreciate that. So um, I got brave one day and decided to um, private message the, the great and powerful Wildfire One. Don't look behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> you looked scared. behind the curtain. How dare you? So but, um, you, you messaged me, and, and, and how did that go? It, it pretty much went with, um, we started writing a song about toothless hookers. Yeah, that never really got you know published. No, it, it, went, it went nowhere. But that's okay. Nowhere we, we had fun. That's all that matters. You know, toothless hookers, they're fun. I recommend so, uh, them. Getting uh, the knob gozzled by somebody without teeth, you know. <laughs> Unless you Clean, got herpes. family fun. <laughs> Unless they got herpes, then yeah. No. That's a whole uh, different problem. Whoa, man. I, I didn't know we were talking about my past, dude. Oh, shit. Okay, Damn. But anyway, so, okay, so, then, and then we just kind of hit it off, and here we are. Like, we've talked for years off and on, and and uh, talked about all sorts of shit from the wacky to the serious. And oh, we got pretty wild. Pretty wild? Yeah. Ah! Oh, see uh. what you did there! Were we on fire? Oh, 
Oh, Sir, I think so you're the one. Fucking horrible. I'm so lame. Or my rapid ice. Oh man, rapid, rapid ice. Freezing. That's <laughs> your alter ego. My alter ego. Rapid ice. But you gotta say it like that. You gotta say it like a whisper, like like it's the coolest thing you've ever said. Rapid ice. Two. You gotta really see the S. Yeah. Ice. So okay, so we got your 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 nerd crit out of the way. How you met me? How we know each other? Friends? Like you know, we know shit about each other that yeah, no man. one should know. You know where I hid the bodies and stuff? Definitely, uh, not by the post office. No, going postal. What? Uh, so we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk a little bit about Newgrounds, like kind of where we met. And it, and kind of maybe the what we think of Newgrounds now as opposed to what it used to be, and maybe talk about like the the ongoings of Newgrounds, which is which it's actually a pretty good site. It was a good site when it started. It's still a good site now. A lot of rules and laws have changed since back then. But I, first and foremost, before we get into that, let's talk about where you're at right now. Oh, because okay. I like because let's listen to that background. That background that is, that is uh, the Middle Earth. That is a large Middle Earth map. Like I feel like, I feel like we can use that to, you know, get rid of the One Ring. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Frodo, Mr. Frodo. Going here. Wait, wait, where are the where, where's Isengard? Or are we taking the the, the, the Hobbits to Isengard? No, I don't know. No, we're not. We fuck Isengard. Fuck those guys. They're they're on their own. No, we're going to Mordor. We're going straight to the fucking issue. I'm going to put my dick in the eye of Sauron. So, uh, yeah, about the place that I'm at. It's yes. called the Historic Haven. Um, it's a very niche group here in Frederick, Maryland. Um, it's a private club, so... Shh, don't tell nobody. It's a secret to everybody. It, it's crazy, because how the business owners, the, the proprietors, um, Gene and Steve, they would actually go to, like comic book stores and um you know bookstores and stuff like that and they would have their business cards and they would place them inside like uh role-playing books you know they would okay. slip them in there and you had to solve a riddle and if you solved the riddle that's how you found the location of oh that's the badass that is like yeah. that is kind of batman villain kind of thing <laughs> i don't know give me a fucking example oh okay um, like um, across the stream of charles uh by the vault of knowledge Hmm. Underneath the peddlers of Charles, will you find Haven? Oh. Well, it's, it, either way, it's really cool that they do stuff like that. Like, I wish I was, and again, I think I said this when we were talking about it before. I would like to. I wish we had something like that here in California. And I mean, I'm pretty sure there is, but you know, nothing as cool as that. I've never come across some magic riddle that takes me to some fucking magical place that plays awesome games and shit. Everywhere we, everywhere's like, bam, in your face, come here. Check us and out. Smart ones come. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's honestly a test. We don't want any douchebag coming no. in. Going. He, he, it's almost like, you know, like one of those gym douchebags coming in like, yeah, I, I've been oh, to Mordor. Man. I've been to Mordor. <laughs> I know Mordor. Yeah. That's my gym, bro. That's where I work out. I lift these fucking weights, man. I call them. I call. Do I, I call them you? hobbits. They're little hobbits, bro. It's, They're little fucking hobbits. It's kind of funny. Um, a, we a distillery just yeah. opened up next door to our location. So booze and games. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just had a mini orgasm. Um, that's what it sounds it, like too. By the way. Oh. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> a lot of excitement over here. Tell us. Tell us more about. Yeah. Tell us more. I want to hear more about this place. Okay, um, the distillery that's right next door to us, they, they've got some pretty good stuff. Um, the thing that sets them apart is their um, German distilleries, like everything imported from Germany. You know, it's, it's okay. pretty bad. So what, what do they do at this place? Like what games do they play? What do they do? Do they do video games? Do they do anime? Does, is it a bunch of people like discussing that, that stuff? Is, or is that, that top is a, secret? A really long, long Just, list. Okay, give me like three things that you do. <laughs> okay, uh, most of the major features here at the Haven is um, ties to the SCA, which is the Society for Creative Anchorism. Um, those are people that reenact any point in history from like 500 BC oh, to like that's 1500. Yeah, AD. And they it, do it, it like accurately, huh? 
Oh, it's extremely Good. historically accurate. Good. Well, you can't have history in the name and fuck it up. Like, <laughs> look, oh. it's it's. We're, I'm a knight with a laser gun. Pew, pew. You know, like, no, that gets your ass kicked. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think anyone that is a nerd that does that should get their <laughs> ass kicked. That's like um, too hey, far, especially if you want to be historical. Thing, but, you know. The thing that sets the SCA apart is they have this thing called Heavy Fighter. And Heavy Fighter is a... Um, it's basically medieval combat. If you keep up with the History Channel, they've got um, new series that are out called like a Knight's Battle or Knight Fight or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I, 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 I'm familiar with what you're talking about. Um, we don't joust because we don't have horses, but oh. jousting is the Maryland State sport. You know, okay. But it, I'd be, it's still really fucking cool to think about someone hitting each other. Now, now are these real swords? Are they real weapons? Um. Okay, so there's two variants to this. Um, you have people who are part of the regular heavy fighting, okay. and they wear anything from like leathered armors to uh, plate steel yeah. that they create their plate own. mail and stuff like that. Actual blacksmithed armor looks God, super that's authentic. Awesome. That's so awesome. Or you go really cheap when you first start in, and uh, you make everything out of pickle barrel, which is a type of really thick plastic. Yeah. From uh, fermenting barrels. Okay. Yeah. Um, they fight with rattan, which is a really type of strong bamboo wood. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's, yeah. a, it's almost like a practice weapons, which is good. It's still, yeah. bamboo wood still fucking hurts. Oh, you, massive whelps. And, <laughs> and then so, there's the two chucks. Okay. The two chucks are the guys that actually run out with the fucking bladed weapons and get Does, memed. Has anyone gotten their arm chopped off? It's, it's just like, a flesh wound. Um, no, actually, we have a few two chuck members that uh, practice here. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, one of our two chuck members here at the Haven is actually participating in the fights on the History Channel, that uh, oh, TV that, show. That's badass. Yeah, that's he was cool. a premier fighter for the first, uh, first can episode. You, can you say a name, or will is it like is this like the Fight Club where like no one talks about the Fight Club? Okay, this is where I look really um, dumb for my social inepotism. Even though we go to the same club, I think I've met this guy once. Oh, okay, you shake um, his, you're like you shook his hand. You're like, God damn, you got a nice grip. Oh no, no, nothing like that. Oh no, oh, um, okay. We we have this like friendly little policy called um, if people are doing their thing, leave them the fuck alone. That is a good policy. Why doesn't that go everywhere? But uh, no, leave the guy the fuck actually alone. comes by. Plays magic every Wednesday. Oh, okay. Magic's fun. I yeah. used to be anti magic in high school and I learned that magic can be fun. I have oh, way yeah. too many friends that play it. Never played it. But, um, yeah. You've never played magic. The... Hold on. You've never played magic? <laughs> never played magic. I, I would seem, because you were playing Hearthstone, right? Before, before we started. I would say that runs right up your alley. It, it does. It's expensive, you know though. Yeah, you know what I don't have to do with Hearthstone? Drop a dollar and do yeah. it. Yeah, it was like six bucks. When I first started, it was like six bucks for a package, and then I got like this really, I think one of my, I think uh, Grizzly actually did, got me from the podcast, got me the starter pack, and then I started, and next thing I know, it's like crack. I'm like, just keep putting that shit in me. I need I more. Yeah, I need more. I'll, pretty bad. It was, I, I love me some magic, but then I, I kind of dropped off of it, and, and, uh, you know, it's just I'm like, damn, that's too expensive. People are putting fucking hundred hundreds and shit on that, and I'm like, uh, I'd rather have a PlayStation. Uh, I'd rather pay my bills. <laughs> yeah, you know. So, um, they actually hold uh, magic tournaments here every week. It, dude, this this place is so amazing. I, I cannot hype it up enough. Oh, any um, place that has a map of Middle Earth on the fucking wall, dude, is like nipple hard awesome. You know, Believe you... it or not, the Haven actually is going to be featured on. Um, uh, you know the guys that make rooster teeth. Yeah. Yeah, um, they're doing a, a, like a little expose on this place. You, you know, rooster teeth. <laughs> the rooster guys teeth. that make rooster teeth. Rooster teeth. Rooster teeth. <laughs> Red versus blue. Red, yeah, those guys. Oh. Full on craft room back here. Shit, That's you not. Blacksmithing forge. That's badass. So that, yeah. that's that's cool. That place is pretty cool. If, in Fred, if you guys ever find a riddle in a book in Frederick, Maryland, be sure to solve that bitch because you might find this place. Yeah, and if you see me, give me twenty bucks. I'll tell you where it is. <laughs> He's such a cheap bitch. <laughs> give me money. 
Give me money. I'll just, you can, this, I'm the cheat code. That's what I am. <laughs> you know, you're reading this thing. It's like, where does the fates meet the end of the ocean? And you're like, fucking Haven. Come on, I'll show you. Come on, come on, man. How much money you got? <laughs> For 50 bucks. I'll show you. I'll even show. Okay, so we've gone through that. Let's talk a little more about Newgrounds. And first and foremost, tell me what brought your attention to Newgrounds way back in the fucking day. It's going to sound really basic, but it was a place where I could upload my music for free and then be a part of a community that could give me feedback and criticism. So it wasn't for the flash? Uh, yeah, it was the porn. The porn. Okay, well, I, I can, I can, okay, damn it. Anyway, so we, so you, you're, you're really, it, was, it wasn't even the flash animation, like the funny shit that they did. It was just the porn. <laughs> yeah, it, it so, so he's listening to he's listening to like Paragon X Nine and like watching like I gotta solve this puzzle, man. I gotta see this tits. <laughs> I can't. I vaguely remember. See, I'm when I first started, and I, I what got me was a bunch of the Flash animations, and of course I started off of E Bombs World. Do you remember E Bombs World? Oh, ew, yeah, <laughs> Black and, Sheep. Yeah, and then I and I more or less like I was like, oh man, I heard people saying, oh they're stealing stuff, you know, from Newgrounds, and I'm like. Okay, well, I'm going to check Newgrounds out. So I check Newgrounds out. The E-Bombs World watermarks right over the fucking yeah! tank. Yeah, <laughs> fucking bastards. The internet was a different time back then, and we'll get into that. Yeah, I go there, I go there, and I'm, I'm watching this, and I'm like, oh, man, this, this is some good content. You know, I've seen this on E-Bombs World, but, uh, you know, then, then some new shit that, like, come out a week. It'll come out that week, and I'm like, oh, this is badass on Newgrounds, and next, like, a week later, it's on fucking E-Bombs <laughs> Doesn't give any credit to anybody. Just fucking like, this is ours, bitch. <laughs> 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 and I think uh, he honestly, I think Ebon's world is still um is still up and running. I wouldn't know. I've I don't know, I checked a while back. It's I used to I that's before I uploaded anywhere else, I uploaded on Ebon's world. It was just a <laughs> video that I did. I'm not kidding. I, I, I uploaded it wasn't music, it was just a video, like a funny video that me and my buddy did. Uh, back when we were younger, it was literally my my friend. Uh, his name was Scott, and he got really drunk. And then I, so I put it. I put him. He was dancing. So I put. Is this the, the KFC bucket story? No, no, that that was someone else. But oh, that's. But that, that was. But that was the same group. So he got really drunk, and when this guy got drunk, he got really fucking hilarious. And uh, this guy started dancing around for no reason. So uh, what I did is I, I recorded him dancing, and we used to do this. We'd bring the camera to when we're partying and stuff and just put it to music. So I, I put that on there, and, like, it, it did okay. It didn't, like, I got, you know, I was, I was happy to get, like, five views. So that's if where I started. To, if you got your friend to fight a homeless guy, I'm pretty sure you Blown up. Oh, if I got my friend to fight a homeless guy and then clothes were ripped off, I'm sure what I'd, I'd have blown up. It was a weird <laughs> time for the internet. E bombs world and early flash animation for like for like new grounds it was a weird time for the internet. You got to remember, this is a time when like copyright strikes weren't a big thing. You knew that if you were making money off something, that you were probably you probably shouldn't use it. A song like a mainstream song. You knew that if, if, you know, back then, like, oh, I'm not making money, I'm good. And then somewhere between here and there, the the copyrights went fucking insane. And, you know, and now now you can't use clips of music in, in, in anything, you know. And what got me started on music, and I think you you might remember this. You've heard, you know, the old, old joke songs that I did with, with friends here. <laughs> uh, my friend, uh, was he would use Reason. And uh, I was like, oh, man, I want Reason, I want Reason. I couldn't find it. And my buddy goes, well, I have FL Studio. I'm like, what the fuck is this Fruity Loop shit? I don't want that. I <laughs> want a reason. Fruity Loops? Fruity Loops is stupid. And then I finally, I got it. And I'm like, this is this is a shitty version of Reason. Because <laughs> I, I just, I, my mind was set on that one program. And I finally, I got it and I started using it. And I just got used to it. And I'm like, wait, this is actually pretty good. <laughs> I kind of like this. I think it was, I think it was FL9 I started with. Or 8. Or even, I can't remember, maybe 7. It was a long time ago. Oh, um, I started with 7. Yeah, I think it was 7 then. And then I started making music and, and finding my way and, and doing things and, and just being goofy. By doing that, Newground, the Newgrounds community, I was opened up to a lot. I met a lot of great people, this guy included. Uh, I met a lot of great people through Newgrounds because it was a really cool community. Especially when we, when we were doing it um, back in the day. 
Uh, there's a lot of really funny people. Thinking back on Newgrounds, it's uh, I made a lot of techno and stuff like that, so I knew people like Envy, uh, <laughs> the Graham Cracker. Uh, I knew the infamous uh, Jesse Valentine. Oh, uh, yeah, Jesse Valentine was like really good in our group. Like he knew he knew all of us, and in the long run, collabed with all of us. Oh yeah, you know, I it's it's weird to see you can't go on that audio portal and not see his name somewhere. F seven seven seven. Yeah, he he was on he was actually a uh, he was actually a guest on the show for episode fifty. So we nice. did an interview with him and he was he was really he even explained why his name was F seven seven seven. And this is before we did uh, video podcasts like we're doing now. So, you know, it's just our beautiful voices with pictures or a oh, picture. back like uh how it used to be in the ventrilo yeah yeah the ventrilo we did have a new grounds ventrilo that blew up well we, well, we might talk a little about that we'll see anything about it, this goes with what i was saying uh the flash even the flash animations back then were different it was all about shock culture it was all about saying and doing things that was you know dick joke like dick we were talking joke, about yesterday yeah. and and uh Wonder like fit the whole tank in my ass yeah you know stuff that you wouldn't expect to hear someone say and uh, so go, go on you were talking about you're talking about your your experience with new grounds how, how to ex- how, how to explain my my experience with new grounds it was really fucked up man it fucked me up in a really hard way <laughs> i blame uh, drugs on new grounds <laughs> goddamn tom <dumb> folk <laughs> He's actually he a really nice guy. Six, and he sucked six dicks in a row. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how intense that shit was. Yeah, actually, Tom Fulp is a nice guy. He's so is Wade. They're both really decent people. I've had I've had the pleasure of 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 talking with them, not face to face, but over you know messages. private messages and stuff like that. They're both really cool people. High five. We talked to Fulp. The Fulp crew. <laughs> Yeah, man. That makes but us official. Makes us your first song on Newgrounds is what? Um, you, I you couldn't even tell you. Newgrounds is mostly known for, I guess, porn, but <laughs> mostly mostly known for uh, flash animation. <laughs> <laughs> mostly known for flash animation and games and stuff like that, and um, and then they opened the audio portal, which which we all agreed at one point, and we said this yesterday, it was a kind of the bastard child of, of Newgrounds at one point. It was treated very, the, kind of uh, ignored. You know? The whole point of the audio portal was um, to provide royalty-free music for the content creators who made games and Flash cartoons. Little well, did we know, you know, <laughs> little did we know that, that people would get, you know, picked up for video games and you know, in 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 voice acting, I I forgot to mention this yesterday when we were talking. There's a guy that was in. Uh, I re- you remember uh, uh, the Game Ranger Three? Yeah. Remember the guy who played Ganon? Yeah. His name is Sean Chiplock, uh, also known as Sonic Mega. That guy's been in so many video games, including that he's been in Dragon Ball. No he's kidding. been. I'm not kidding. He's been in. Legend, uh, Legend of Zelda, the latest game. What game was that? Get uh, out of here. No, I'm not. I'm not kidding, dude. Like, look him up. Look him up on on uh, IMDb. He's he's got an amazing. And when he voiced for us, it was great. Like, I knew the guy was gonna go somewhere. <laughs> and he only had like maybe four lines for us, but it was fucking amazing. I'm like, I because we did we 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 used to do. Um, when we did these animations, we used to do, uh, we'd have people audition and, uh, you know, we, we heard him, we heard him in one of his lines was, damn you, Link, and your cursed ocarina, always foiling my plans and somehow rescuing Princess Zelda at the last possible second. Ooh, you pissed me off so much. And you even took the God's God Tala tokens, you bastard. And the way he said it was fucking funny as hell that I laughed about it for maybe about three weeks. And I was like, yeah, this guy's organic. Oh, he walked up to him and he said, kid, you're going to go places. Yeah, I just I just knew. Like, you know, just like when I heard uh, Jesse Valentine's music. I'm like, this guy's, this guy's, yeah. Or we can talk about uh, Ego Raptor. That's yeah, another guy from Newgrounds, you know. Pfft, Game Grumps, man. Come on. You know, oh. so yeah, very talented people came from Newgrounds. I mean, uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of I mean, there's still talented people there. Like 
compared from back in the day when we started. You know, and I'm the type of guy that even when I reviewed, and I reviewed a lot uh, back in the day, I like to think I was a part of that that uh, community. You know, pretty pretty heavily back in the day. You know, I was working a full time job. I'd come home and be like, "Newgrounds, what's going on today?" You know, if I remember correctly, um, didn't you beat the infamous Cyber Devil in most audio reviews at one point? And I think I think because I dropped off the face of the earth at one point, he got and Cyber Devil's fucking cool. Him and I used to talk back and forth too. Uh, and that for every so often he'll, he'll review some stuff that I do, like some of the podcasts that I put on new grounds. And again, I didn't say this before I said this when we talked about it yesterday, but, uh, we, I, this podcast started on new grounds before it was on YouTube, before it was anywhere else. It was on new grounds and, uh, we love our new grounds listeners. We love all our listeners, but new grounds is kind of like a special place for me. Cause you know, I've, I've got it's where the, uh, the grassroots culture came from. Oh yeah. Well, on the NG. well, I was more known for music for the longest time. And now like, it seems like people enjoy the podcast and I, I, I appreciate that. I never really thought that we'd get more than like five listeners when I first started <laughs> this project. So we're giving we're giving give Newgrounds a little bit of pet on the back on this one. We love you, Tom Folt. Lick the shaft. Lick dick ride. <laughs> <laughs> Do you so, think he'll give us money if we keep saying his name? Tom like, Folt. Tom. What, what about Tom? Tom you mean Tom Folt? Tom Folt. What? Tom Folt. Yeah. Tom Folt. Tom Wait, Folt. Folt? Folt. The Folt family. What? <laughs> Folt. 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 Folt fortune. Yeah. Folt fortune. I don't think you'll give us any money. He's they're asking for money on new grounds, which I feel bad, but I'm a broke bitch. I really wish I could uh donate and and or do something to ca- to get money for new grounds, but I, you know, and I tried to do that once and that, that fell through. And I remember mess I remember emailing Tom Folt. Like, well, I messaged him and I go, "Hey man, you know, I would like to do like a pers- like some of these proceeds that we make if we make any money, if at all, you know, to give it to new grounds." He's like, "Don't worry about that, man. Don't worry about that. You can you can, you know, you keep, he was really nice about it. And I was like, no, I really want to give back to Newgrounds, damn it. You guys have, like, inspired me to do a lot of shit, you know. I must please you, daddy. <laughs> love me. Love me. I need the loves. But, I mean, we have, we've, we met people like Zajed. Zajed was great. Uh, oh, he was a cool dude. Drop some of the names that we remember. Like, I mean, Rig. We met Rig. We 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 had we had a Ventrilo back in the day, and we got to meet a lot of these people. And like you were saying, a lot of them did. Like we had this persona of them in our head, and then they'll talk, and like it's like the curtain's it just gone. Breaks the moment. You're like, you're you, like, yeah. You have all these guys that you listen to their music, and, and you get this like preconceived notion on like who you think they're gonna be. And, you know, you hype it up so much, and you're like, oh, dude, I bet these guys, like, shit in golden toilets and wipe their asses with underdogs. Shit excellence. They just, they just, they shit excellent and piss like greatness. And and then you meet them, and they're like every other dude. And you're like, oh, okay. Oh, huh. Wow. <laughs> Don't look behind the curtain. Pay no attention. Because we were talking, like, why Stingray? We talked, we met a lot of really good people. Of course, we said Jesse Valentine, F777. Uh, you know, ingenious. There was yeah. a lot of really good, uh, good people that we met. You know, and and had conversations with, and not just conversations about music, or conversations, just conversate like live conversations. We'd sit there and we'd talk about like the meaning everything of everything. From, yeah, you know, music theories to production to um, I got this weird rash on my bottom. I yeah. Don't know. See a doctor. I, should I pour? Should I pour? Lemon. It was lemon juice. Lemon yeah. Should I pour it. lemon juice on this and that and the other thing? And it, we had a lot of conversations. Oh yeah, a lot of hours killed just bullshitting it. And love it. Love every minute of it. You know, you get to meet. Oh yeah. People it, was, who, it was really crazy to think that uh, the Ventrilo got as popular and as big as it did. Um, when I set it up, I really didn't think it was going to go anywhere. No. I thought it was just going to be a media for. You know, just to talk to this guy uh, is literally why I set it up. Oh, damn, really? Because I didn't even know yeah. it existed until you like, until, like weeks later. I thought it was yeah. set up for like video games and mostly, shit. Mostly, when we first started talking, it was mostly through MSN Messenger. Right. Uh, I mean, it was voice clips. Aim was a thing. Yeah. yeah. Voice clips. 
And it was voice clips back and forth when I would randomly sing to you guys and stupid shit like that, you know. It's, it's so crazy. Is, is, MS, is MSN still around? Is that no, I think they shut it down. They're like, fuck MSN. It's all about <laughs> Skype now. And Skype sucks. Skype is the future. By the way, we're on Discord. Yeah, we're on Discord. <laughs> Thank you, Discord, for being a team player and free. <laughs> Yeah, so a lot of the people that I met uh, on Newgrounds, uh, there was Badman Incorporated. Oh, Badman was um, amazing. Oh, yeah, dude. He, he was just shredding it like nobody's business. Him and I were always supposed to do, and I regret this because we never did, but, I, I, you know, maybe one day. We were always supposed to do this, like, this cover song of, a, like, a Metallica song, and we oh, never yeah? did it. And it just broke my heart because he liked, I believe he liked Metallica as much as I did back in the day. And uh, I was just like, oh man, my nipples were hard. He's like, oh, I'm like, I'm like, oh, bad man wants to, wants to, wants to do a song with me. It's, it's weird. Cause it's like, um, we're talking about things we already talked about. Yes. It's, it's magical. This question, but opposed to now and then what's changed in new grounds in your opinion? Um, oh yeah. I asked you that question. You did ask me this question. As you, uh, you've been recently on new ground. Um, I feel like I shouldn't even be on this podcast. The last time I logged in, three like, years I, ago, I have betrayed new grounds. I am no, going. It's, just... it's e-bombs world now. <laughs> uh, if anything, the absence of any online presence on new grounds or anything—it's like fucking here, man. This is what I'm doing every day. <laughs> um, <laughs> being. Be, like actually doing stuff in life is 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 is, is keeping you away from the computer. But and, and look at your the computer. You're on a computer at that place now. I'm such a bad influence. Oh my god! I never would have brought this here. <laughs> Just let me let me get some internet right now. <laughs> well, uh, to answer the question you asked me yesterday, and and then I just asked you, I would say a lot of things. The voting systems changed. I would say the fact that you can vote once is very important. And it's a good change. Um, it doesn't look like I, I haven't been to the point where I could be like, oh, the mods are so and so, they're so active. I don't know because I haven't really been on the, the forums. I know they used to be pretty active. The internet's the internet's changing, and, and, and I was going to say unfortunately, but I guess maybe unfortunately and fortunately, so did Newgrounds. You know, and it's some of it's for the better and some of it's for the worse because those, the laws change, you, the music laws change too. As in, you know, back in the day, you could add in samples you know to from movies or what have you it's not really a thing you can do nowadays no there's there's too many um royalties out there or you know it's all about the creative commentary licensing <clears throat> now we just got to abide by it i think it was a really good time to be on Newgrounds when we when we did that thing and we did our thing and <laughs> and stuff was happening on the ventrilo and and we were doing music and it was a really good community i mean Oh, it definitely brought a, a lot of people together. Um, a lot of collaboration projects came out from the Ventrilo. There was a lot and, of learning, uh, you know? Yeah, a lot of, definitely, there was a lot of tech talks and, you know, sharing and collaborating their ideas, you know, how to do certain things, uh, down to where is the coolest place to get the freshest samples. <laughs> yeah, you know, or, or, or like a VST or something, anything like that. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Read. <laughs> read at each other well mostly you because you'd want us to read to you oh because i didn't know how to read no you read just fine you're just a lazy fuck hey fuck you too <laughs> just, why will you read to me no no it's oh. right there it's right there and, oh. what is english i can't even why 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 why'd you do this to me you know like I, I keep saying it but it was a good time to be on new grounds and now's a good time too i mean as opposed from then to now you were saying yourself a lot of the stuff on new ground sounds I mean, just music wise sounds a lot more professional oh absolutely everyone really stepped out their game. yeah um i feel like new grounds is no longer a site for like amateurs yeah there are people who post stuff up and they're you know, learning game and you know, yeah. They're just looking for a, an outlet to share their media and get criticism and feedback, you know, just like we did. But um, it's definitely more of a major form of media now. Yeah. Um, I mean, I remember back when we were making 10 years ago, everyone was like, 
oh, you know that soldier boy? You know, it, they heard him from Newgrounds. Was he from Newgrounds? Yeah. Really? Soldier Boy was from Newgrounds? Soldier Boy was from Newgrounds. He, he um, had stuff posted on Newgrounds. I'm so sorry, Newgrounds. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm, I like, I'm sad that that's a thing because Soldier Boy sucks. <laughs> I mean, Superman, that hell, though. It, so that makes sense because the hip hop community blew up at one point on, uh, oh, yeah. On NG. Yeah. You know? Bajra, DJ Bajra back in the day was good. There's a lot of really cool, really cool people that some of them went on to go do great things and some of them went on to live life. You know, some of them are, are, are out there getting, getting booty left and right because of their music. And some of them, some of us are just doing podcasts. <laughs> some of us are just playing role play. <laughs> it was, it was a really good community and it still is actually. I'd like, I, I mean, if I ever did get back into it, I'd, I mean, I don't think I'm ever going to get as deep as I once was because. I oh, was, yeah, you climbed down the rabbit hole when you were trying yeah, to find out. I climbed out. I, I, I got out of that. And I mean, not to, I say it like it's bad, but no, I'm, I'm fucking older now and I got other priorities. So now I got, uh, you know, I'd love to do music again, but, you know, maybe, who knows, maybe we'll do a collab. Oh, yeah, hey. So we'll see. Or you could change anything about the the past in Newgrounds on your part. Like, what would it be? Um, please, for the love of God, do not add any flash to the videos while they're playing for the audio. Because so many times did I show somebody my song. And I really like the backgrounds. Dude, that's just a media player. Like, this is a fucking wavy bar. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't do wavy. I like the wavy bars and shit, but like, but like, yeah, I get you what you're saying. You're like showing them and you're like, okay, listen to the music. And they're like, oh, the colors are amazing. And you're like, bitch, the music. Come on, man. <laughs> the music. Don't talk about the flash. Don't talk about the music. Tell me what you think. Oh, of this. oh the music. Um, it's okay. Is that a pan flute? It's all right. You know, is that a pan flute? Is that a cello? The uh, um, yeah, the, yeah, it's I get what you're saying. It was it was pff, ridiculous, but it I, it didn't really bother me so much because I what I would do is I'd push play and I'd like I'd minimize it. I loved I loved when people commented on my music, but every so often you get that like, where the fuck is this on the top five? Hey, fuck you, Dog Cherry was a great Dog great Cherry. song. Dog Cherry is a song that I remember. I think we were in Vent and I and you found it. No, it was Wise. Oh, Wise found it. Wise Stinger. Another good, another, that was his old name. I, don't, I think he's Blasphemy uh, Blasphemy. Now. Yeah. Really cool guy. <clears throat> he and I did, uh, he, I, and I, someone else. But we did a rap about, uh, called Freddy 3000. It was about um, World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft. <laughs> with, World, the, with the ox. With the ox. Step back, you don't understand. The LAN parties and my Warcraft clan Dedicated to my craft Cause I got nothing to lose Sipping my Earl Grey tea While the frat boys chug their booze Yeah! This level that I got came from my experience But uh, yeah, well, there was a bunch of good people on, on Newgrounds Like Wise Stingray and we've done songs And you, you did, you even did some goofy joke songs I did joke songs too, I did like Evil Pikachu Pikachu And uh, you did you did joke songs about like you know five my song and you know oh yeah the uh, zero bomb culture the zero bomb culture so that was fun and we we had our moments we had our goofy fun moments in 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 Newgrounds I just realized one of the things we didn't talk about was one of the things we talked about at length yesterday was the um, back back in the day again I used to make funny things and send to these guys. And one of the things I sent was this fat Dragon Ball Z thing. Like, what if Dragon Ball Z characters were fat? So, uh, yeah. so I, I, I made this this video, and we watched it again yesterday. He goes, man, you know it takes like 40 seconds for it to get meet the potatoes, meeting the potatoes of the fucking video. I'm like, fuck you, it doesn't matter. But anyway, <laughs> most of it's me doing this announcement. And then, like, at the, the end of the video, I put this picture of Goku with a 
you know, his head and he's on this really fat body. I just photo badly photoshopped it. And I'm like, and, and, and then I'm voicing, I'll make his mouth move and it doesn't, it's not even in sync. It's just fucking horrible. And before I go, I fight this Frieza guy. Can somebody give me a Twinkie? Before I fight this Frieza guy, will someone bring me a Twinkie? And I showed this guy right when I was done with it. And he's just like, that's not funny. Yeah, I'm get it, man. I'm like, what? What's not funny about that? That's fucking hilarious. I, it's fat Goku, and we, all he wants is a Twinkie before he fights. Fight, goes to his fight, and so years later, he comes to me, and we're talking, and I don't know what happens. We're talking about like obese Batman, and and I, I, yeah, no, I just I, I was like, hey, man, I've got this idea. You know, what if we wrote rewrote a lot of the um, older comic book styles, but we try to make them more relatable to uh, you know people today. I was like, yeah, like a uh, Batman could be morbidly obese and has diabetes. Um, you know, maybe uh, Superman could be a paraplegic. Yeah, you know. Or, uh, maybe what, what, Flash has all timers. Yeah. Flash timers. <laughs> and uh, I, I, I send you the joke. Before I go fight the Joker, somebody give me a Twinkie. <laughs> he waited five years. And then he's laughing at his own at this joke that I told him five years prior, and I'm uh, like motherfucker, and I know he did it because he's like because for years I gave him shit about that. I'm like, you don't how, what's not to get? It's fucking hilarious, and he's like, and then he starts laughing at before I fight the Joker. So give me a Twinkie. Like, like, that's not. I'm, and then of course I I had to reverse. I'm like that's not funny. But dude, that doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> <Yeah. Insulin. laughs> fucking bullshit. No More dog. Talent. No dog. Yeah. Cherry. That song. He. I don't know. I don't even know if I said that. We said that story. He sent me this. The why he sent me this song, and it was like, and I'm. I. I was a big reviewer on Newgrounds. I love to review music. And it's. It was bad. I remember we talked about Dog Cherry for years. I found the official post that Wildfire One gave. Dog Cherry. Dog Cherry. Is on it October eighteenth, two thousand and eight? Well, hold on. What is the song here? Yeah. Play the song. I want to hear the song. Uh, <laughs> uh, why? You have my official review on that song, and you're going to read it to me. <clears throat> oh wow all i can say is keep practicing man i can't find the good in this at all it's repetitive it's one of those songs you listen to and it drains your iq making you dumber <laughs> lol i really like, said that like, I pictured a retarded duck walking around <laughs> to this song drooling everywhere and waiting like, well, a retarded duck. <laughs> L-O-L. I said anyway, that. Anyway, man, don't give up on music. Just practice more. Wildfire one. Wow. I said that? Yeah. Oh, my God. I was a dick. Yeah, wow, I wasn't even bad. A retarded bad duck. You, you, okay, once you got your uh, comments going about the retarded duck, like mm -hmm. I was like, well, if I can add to the comment, it's like a retarded, retarded duck quacking. <laughs> 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 I just, he replied to it. And that's what I was aiming for. He was gum. <laughs> And give you like the best kind of nice review I could, because I could have oh, said God, so, I could have said so much worse. You have to say you suck. <laughs> Fuck, man. Uh, so okay, you found that. That how hard did you look for that? Just like that. All right, everyone. We thank you for watching. We thank you for listening. We'll see you next week on the next podcast. Remember to stay nerdy, stay sexy. Always. Oh my god, it's Freddy 3000! I love it when you play a World of Warcraft. Oh my god, my nipples.
Those are just hard. Ah, oh, it's too bad. I'm really a man. <laughs> Welcome to the internet, bitch. <laughs> <laughs>